10 million people die from cancer in this world every year, a big portion of them here in the United States, and that doesn't have to be. What if I told you there was a company who was developing a test, a test that you could take, and it would tell you if you have cancer in your body? 77% of people who die for cancer be die because they don't find out early enough. What if I told you there was a company that was developing a test that that they could bring that number to zero. What if they, I also told you they could sequence your genome and then go in and take the cancer out of your body so that not only you wouldn't have it, but it would come out of your bloodline and therefore cancer would stop in your bloodline? What if I told you there was such a company? Would you be interested in investing in it? Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. I'm Kerry Grinkmar. I'm a retired financial advisor, and I'm here to tell you that there is such a company. The company's name is Illumina. Uh, I'm looking on my uh, app here, my Moo Moo app, and its ticker symbol is ILMN, and right now it's selling at this moment for $218.21. And uh, when I first became aware of it about a year ago, it was selling for over $500 a share. And as a result of the depressed market, it's at a bargain now, as I said, $218.2014 a share, my Moo Moo app is telling me. So, uh, this is something that I think I want to own. I do own it, and I, I want to share with you why I own it. And the first thing I want to do is go back a year ago and share with you the interview I saw on uh, Squawk Box relative with um, their CEO, Francis de Sosa, and he explains to me, first of all, the genome sequencing part of it. We had Illumina provide the machines uh, that allow people to do genomic sequencing. Sequencing. So you put in blood or saliva samples, we tell you what DNA is in there. Our products are used, uh, for example, to fight the pandemic. So a lot of the news you see about new variants emerging, uh, well, the sequencing of that virus is, a lot of it is done on our machines. We're also used in cancer hospitals. We're used to diagnose, uh, to match cancer patients with therapies or diagnose kids with genetic diseases. So we're a leader in providing genomic sequencing solutions. We invented the technology that Grail uses, you know, uh, way back in our labs where we first started to see genomic biomarkers in blood hmm. for cancer. And we knew that could be a really big discovery in terms of helping improve the survivability for people who had cancer. And so back in 2016, we spun the technology out to raise the $2 billion it, it took, almost $2 billion, to do the very large clinical studies to develop that test. Now I want to share with you the testing element. This is a company that Illumina developed, spun off, and because they needed, I think it was two billion dollars to get it financed. So they spun it off as a separate entity, as a private company, and then more recently have bought it back and brought it in. And this is the company that actually, much as you can go to uh, uh, and, you, and have a pregnancy test to find out if a female is pregnant, you now would be able to go to your doctor and take this test. And it'll tell you if you have one of 50 different kinds of cancers currently in your body. It's analyzing your blood to see if the cancer that throws off protein is there. Let me bring you up to date. This is an interview I found on uh, NBC about uh, Illumina and their current progress. I think it's the new front in the war on cancer. This is where the processing begins. So Dr. Josh Hoffman is president and chief medical officer for Grail, a Silicon Valley biotech startup that created the gallery test. We know that early cancer detection is the best chance that we have to really bend the mortality curve on cancer. And most cancer deaths are happening in cancers that we're not screening for at all. Only five major cancers have screening tools like mammograms or colonoscopies. 71% of cancer deaths are caused by other cancers. We're losing almost 2,000 of our loved ones every day. And it's because we're finding most cancer too late. Gallery looks at blood for DNA shed by cancer tumors. If it sees that DNA, then it predicts where the cancer is. 
So if it says cancer signal detected, predicted location, ovary, the doctor will know to do an imaging test of the pelvis. In an ideal world, any adult who's at elevated risk for cancer should be taking this test annually. The gallery test is available now by prescription, but is not covered by insurance. Cost to the patient, $950. Researchers at the National Cancer Institute say the results so far could potentially revolutionize cancer screening. So this is all part of my uh, endeavor to find the stocks that are going to change the way we live. And certainly, if a company like Illumina can develop a test to find out if oh, 10 million people have cancer in their body, there's some potential there, don't you think? If they can then get it approved for insurance companies to pay it, I can see that I would be one of those who would raise my hand and say, when you do my annual blood test, do that blood test on me as well to find out if I have cancer in my body. Oh, by the way, I also want you to use Illumina's genome sequencing to find out if my genome is has a mutation that could potentially result in cancer in, in my future. So, is this a company I want to own? I can't believe I why I wouldn't want to own it. If it has the potential to do that, to uh, notify us that we have it or that we have a mutation such that we have a propensity to get cancer, I want to own it. I also then want to own the companies that are going to take this information, take this data, and sort it out and, and share it with the pharmaceutical companies and the genome sequencing and genome editing companies that are going to create the therapies to remove not only cancer, but any and all diseases of my body. Is this bigger than the digital revolution? Well, uh, Walter Isaacson certainly thinks it is. Well, I think the biotech revolution is going to be 10 times more important than the digital revolution because it allows us to hack the code of life. And I do too. How about you? But wait, there's more. I just this morning saw another interview on Squawk Box with Francis de Sosa of Illumina explaining their involvement now in the monkeypox epidemic. This just keeps getting better and bigger and bigger. And so this is something you need to be aware of. The World Health Organization has declared monkeypox a global emergency. Now companies like Illumina have turned their sights at defining therapeutics and vaccines uh, to fight the outbreak. Joining us now, Francis D'Souza is the CEO of the genetic uh, sequencing company Illumina. Yeah, what we do uh, when we sequence monkey boss is because we understand the, uh, the, the, the genome of the virus. So that tells us how the virus is emerging, how it's moving around the world, how it's mutating. That information is essential for us to develop things like the diagnostic tools uh, to develop vaccines like we did for COVID, but also to develop the antivirals. And so what we can do with a global pathogen surveillance system is get a very early advance warning of an outbreak that's happening, track as it's moving so we can use that to make uh, policy decisions, for example. Uh, and then we can make sure that as the virus mutates, that the tools we're using to fight the outbreak, the diagnostic tools, the therapeutics, the vaccines, that the virus hasn't escaped them. And so it's important to continue to monitor it. Now, this is important not just from a public health perspective to look for the next coronavirus or the next uh, monkeypox, but it's also important from a national defense perspective. It helps us identify, for example, any bioterrorist attacks that may be playing out. The, the, what sequencing gives you is it's the first step in the process. So what it allows you to do is be looking globally to see if there's an outbreak happening. If it's an outbreak of something we know already, or it could be a novel outbreak that's happening, and then you take that genomic data, because we digitize the biology, and we give that genomic data to the companies that then create the vaccines or the therapeutics or the diagnostic tools, and then we continue to feed that data to those companies to make sure that the tools they have continue to work. 
This is my method of investing. It is basically not to invest in today's market because today's market is past history. No, I want to invest in the companies that are going to change, not only change the way I live, but extend the length of my life. And I see here something that is going to revolutionize our world. It's going to change our world from health care, which we know is broken as a result of our experience the last year and a half, two years from the coronavirus, and it's going to change our life to health cure. That is to say, Carrie, come in. Let me determine what's going on in your body, and let me give you the most current science to help you cure and eliminate the things that could kill you in the future. Is that Does that mean I can live forever? Not quite yet. We have to talk about spare parts, and we'll do that in the future. I don't know the names of the companies that that are creating the spare parts, but I know it's being done. That's where I gain an advantage in the stock market. I study my niche. I work with a community. That's our Discord. You can find your link to it at our website, Best of Us Investors. And we get together, and that's how I learn about these things. My community says, hey, Carrie, have you seen this? We did. We talk on the, on the Discord on a daily basis. We have a Friday evening stock talk. We are up to step speed on what we are interested in, our niche of investing. I don't invest in many things, including electric vehicles, because it is just a car company. We can talk about that another day, but I will be talking to you again tomorrow.